Hello, folks. Hope everybody's having a good day and everything is going good and you can hear me fine. Um, this is Shadowrun Denver False Flag. This is the second part of it, but honestly, you don't need to have watched the first because we don't, uh, because it's a pretty much, I'll be going through a rough version of what happened, or at least what the public hears about what happened. Um, you guys, you three, have after the last, uh, your last bit of fun, um, helping smuggle something into Denver. Uh, you got paid. Uh, you got away successfully without taking too much damage, if I remember correctly. And uh, you're back up and your edge is refreshed. Uh, and you're doing good. And the only thing that might be a little concerning to you is what's being said out there. Uh, because that night after you uh, get back, a news story breaks about how... The Aziz, um, or as technology, tried to smuggle in a uh, bioweapon that specifically targets dragons. Uh, yes, Blue 227. Uh, they attempted to smuggle it in, but the heroic ZDF forces stopped them. And you see some um, video and uh, of the dead bodies that look a little similar, that, that look surprisingly similar to the uh, guys that you shot. Um, with the exception that the one that, um, that Tony's character shot from a half mile away uh, that one is actually <laughs> flipped over, and you can see the bullet wounds in the front uh, of it. <laughs> but otherwise, it's the same people. So uh, you're, yeah. So and the, so the ZDF has taken credit for defending um, Denver's leading, uh, Denver's leader, um, from this dangerous bioweapon. And also defending it from UCAS's inept security because you were at a UCAS airport. Or actually, the blue 227 was attempted to be smuggled in to a um, UCAS airport. Uh, all in all, there's nothing connecting you to it. So everything is good. You guys have a normal life uh, for a few days. Um, but then uh, you get uh, your Tom Link pings, and you get a message from that uh, from that Johnson. Hang on one second. Uh, um, good job last time. As you can undoubtedly see, that is, uh, people have taken advantage of uh, the situation, uh, but you did your job uh, with professionalism and effectiveness. Um, I have a simple snatch and grab uh, for you if you're interested um, in earning some more cred. Um, Go ahead and contact me uh, before uh, 11 or 2300 hours. I'm guessing all three of you pinging back. Otherwise, this is going to be a short stream. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, you get a, a, a message back that says, excellent. Oh, Bob, you just had to say it. I hadn't. 
You just had to say it, Bob. Um, <laughs> he's uh, he gives you the address for a hotel and to meet him in the lounge on the second floor at twenty three hundred hours. Um, you three go there. Uh, this uh, lounge features a long bar at the end of the room with a few tables in the middle and booths on the sides. It's the kind of place uh, where hotel guests go for uh, cheap, watered-down drinks uh, when they don't feel like venturing too far from their rooms. Lounge is about only about half full with an assortment of business travelers looking for a quick night Cap and some middle-aged family types who want some private time uh, to have a drink without the kids. Um, seated near the bar is an, the uh, the orc who uh, helped him pick you up at the Stapleton Airport. Uh, he nods uh, you to you over a beer and inclines his head over to the corner booth. Uh, in the in the uh, booth is Mr. Johnson, looking as impeccable as ever in his business suit. Uh, as you approach, he nods to you as you fill the spacious uh, booth, uh, holding a hand up to forestall any conservation or conversation. Um, and conservation, you're in a hotel. There's not really conserving anything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He pulls out a small area jammer and activates it. There, now we can talk freely. Uh, I'm glad to see uh, that you're doing well after the events at Stapleton. Uh, I'm impressed. Um, so uh, when this came up, I thought uh, having professionals like yourself would be the simplest way to take care of this. Um, there's a certain individual I need to have a conversation with, but he, well, he's decided to ignore my calls. So I need you all to arrange the meeting for me. Uh, I can tell you it won't be easy since the target is a person of some means and will have some competent protection. Um, and there will be some additional provisions uh, for the job you'll have to keep in mind. Um, with that said, uh, what do you think? I'm, I'm willing to offer you, uh, 7,000 each. Just look over at Glamour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you said this is a person of means who's not returning your call. So I'm going to assume that you had some kind of fight or something. So are we talking like a gated community person of means or like private island person of means? Um, I, With all the islands in Denver, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. I would say more uh, of the gated community person of means. I don't, you won't need, it's, it's, Something, it's a place that you can readily access. Um, it's not like you're going to have to, you know, charter a plane or anything like that. They get personal security. There will be, yes, he will have some personal security, yes. Since you want to talk to this person, how intact does the personal security got to be? Or the person. <laughs> You know, that's a good follow-up. I didn't think about that. I don't usually yeah, shoot first yeah. time kidnap, but, you know, sometimes you might. That's Look, cool. I'm not here to hurt people. I just want to know what all the details are and what we're getting into and whether or not 7000 per person is fair compensation. I, I have business associates in the area, and I want to keep those relationships intact. So uh, no heavy ordinance, major property damage, uh, and... Any killing that has to be done has to be kept quiet. Um, and this this man, he needs to be, um, he needs to be reasonably intact. Um, if he's got to spend, if he's got to spend some time with a street doc, with his doctor, I'm okay with that. Um, but it can't be you know 
something obvious or completely if he you know okay he's got he got banged around a little bit no problem a sucking chest wound um from catching a panther xsl in the chest uh, that's not gonna work for me i wasn't thinking about that <laughs> i mean he should be better at learning how to catch things but that's his problem that's not our problem <laughs> Is this someone who might have like a dock wagon contract or something like that? We have to worry about personal security and also if someone gets a boo boo that they're coming crying. I don't believe so. Okay. Uh, can I discuss with my associates since they're the ones who do most of the violence? Um. Certainly, I will be. Uh, I will be right back. I'll give you a couple minutes. And he gets up and he goes to uh, talk to the orc at the bar. So do we think that 7,000 is fair for each of us? I've got no idea how much security we're up against. Right. And also, they're going to be shooting live. And if, if I got to hide a body after I drop a body, that's a lot extra. Yeah. But, I mean... If I'm using jail rounds against somebody that's shooting live ordnance at me, I'm going to be real happy about it. I guess, Glimmer, do you think that we can get in, like, non-lethally? Like, a bodyguard scenario, or? I mean, yeah, I mean, Glimmer could probably bluff us a good way in, but eventually we're going to have to put a man in a bag and walk him off a person in a bag. I mean, I'm pretty, but I'm not that pretty. Not yet. I'm working on it. And these stumpy legs of mine don't, don't I look at Glimmer because there's no reason to point out to another dwarf, I'm sure. Uh, it's, yeah. not, it's not great for, for sneaking. I was built for shooting and punching and kicking and all below a certain height. But right. anyway, I mean, like I said, I can mean, take in some non-lethal rounds that's not a problem i'm not, not gonna make me less accurate i'm just if they're shooting back for realsy at me though i'm it's gonna it makes price go up that is a good point okay that gives me what i need to work with thank you so much oh, for your valuable feedback and, and just in case he says live rounds is okay but he said he didn't want no bodies hiding bodies is extra too so if i'm using lethal you with me on this yep All right, like he, I said, I don't do the violence. I just do the chatty. Best team. Two murder machines. Nice lady. <laughs> That's, we got it all covered. <laughs> okay. Uh, he comes back after a bit. So uh, what did you, what do you, de did you decide? So we've talked it over and we are definitely interested in this job. However, we feel that 7,000 is a little bit low, especially considering that they're not going to know that we're not there to actually murder them, but just make them a little bit tired. So mm -hmm. I assume you're not going to tell the personal security to not use live rounds on us. So we're using not live rounds on them. That is a power dynamic that I'm not all about. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, I think that maybe 8,500 is going to be more fair than 7,000. Just for personal injury reasons. Okay, go ahead and roll your uh, influence. Not bad. Nice. Uh, and you, uh, you do get two edge, um, if for no other reason than the, you know, I'm not that pretty, uh, but I'm working on it. Uh, comment just made me laugh. <laughs> I'm here uh, for talk. Um, and that's good because Mr. Johnson rolled pretty good tonight. Six hits out of 11 dice. So you gain two edge out of it. So you can decide what you want to do. 
So I should be, let's see, with two edge. There it is. Oh, thank you. Yep. Uh, mm -mm. I will spend two of those edge and one of my own edge to buy an automatic hit because ties go to the attacker, right? Uh, yep, that would get you effectively. Well, and here in with with negotiation, ties go to the the victor, but it does. In this case, it's net hits. Okay, All for right. money it adds to the money. All right. Okay. Um, okay. So in that case, that's not going to be super helpful. Um, and that when you when you're at the point of three edge, spending one more, so you'd spend two from your personal stores, uh, would let you reroll everything. Yeah. Let's let's do that. You can reroll failed dice. Yep. Oh, your failed dice, which would be eight. Uh, which to be honest, go ahead and just roll the same the same thing, and I'll just ignore the last. I'll ignore the last five dice. Ten. Let's see, wow. Okay, one. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, you guys have some back. You guys have some back and forth, uh, considering how you ended up with. Uh, 10 hits um, versus my versus my 6 hits um, the back and forth that you guys have you end up um, he offered you 7,000 you end up at 9,000 each hmm I do appreciate your taking this so seriously on our behalf. We really, we are so happy that you understand that we value our worth and that you value us. So make this a continuing working relationship. Oh, yes, of course. I mean, that's, you're, like I said, you're professionals. That's why I called you so this could be n nice and simple, or as simple as a shadow run can ever be. Uh -huh. Now, the... Target is Gerald Jones. Um, he's a freelance defense contractor uh, doing some work for the UCAS government. Uh, he has a, um appointment at a... Um, gentleman... Well, not gentleman's... At, at an adult's uh, location. Uh... Uh, Madame Cassandra's House of Leisure. Uh, that's located on Millionaire's Row in the cast sector. Um, and he does it every Tuesday at um, twenty one thirty while he's in whenever he's in Denver. And being as it's Monday night, uh Tomorrow night happens to be Tuesday. There will be some the brothel security, and uh, Mr. Jones usually has bodyguards. Uh, so it would be best if the job is done quietly. So do you need to see this person in person or do they just need to answer their phone? <laughs> um, I need to see him in person. Okay. Uh, and like I said, you know, I have, I have business associates in the area. Um, so I would appreciate it if, you know, no heavy ordinance was used. Um, it it would be a shame to uh, blow up the that part of the. There it goes. 
that part of the cash sector. So where do we need to bring this individual to once we've acquired them? Um, once you've acquired him, um, come me at this location, and I will have the, uh, the drop location set, uh, sent to you. Uh, where my, where you'll be able to meet, uh, my, uh, my friend out at the bar. He'll be there to pick him up from you. And with, of course, the cred sticks. Do you have floor plans for this particular establishment? Um, I do not. Um, have it, but it's a it's a fairly standard social club. Um, and it's well known enough. You'll be able to. Uh, you'll be able to. Uh, Find out the the tricky part is going to be um, finding out which which room he's in is in the club. Does anyone else have any questions? No, I'm good. Excellent. All right. Um, well, then, uh, good luck. I uh, look forward to hearing from you tomorrow night, probably about this time. Right. Um, okay. At that point, you guys head out. Um, what is your first move? We got the address. Right. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Right. Madda Cassandra's House of Leisure is is one of Millionaire Rose kind of open secrets. Uh, it's pretty easy to find out the. Simple stuff. It's located in a plush three-story mansion um, and has a style that harkens back uh, to a refined area a refined era of southern hospitality. Um, is there, uh, Tom, is there anything we need to, I mean, if we wanted to just, like, go hang out there? Is this a members only sort of thing or is this a place we can scout pretty easy? Um, it's not a members only type of place. Um but it is um it is a place that many of Denver's rich and powerful frequent. So to a certain extent you've got to look the look. Um, to get in there. I just heard another shopping montage. Yeah. Just- <laughs> yep. Yeah. Pretty. Um. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. Yes. You're gonna have to have. Uh, you're gonna have to let Glimmer dress you. <laughs> Don't touch my hat. <laughs> I can work with that. <laughs> Um, I think ultimately the first step is to go get a soy cap and then go shopping. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that I honestly figure into everything that you do. Sleepy does. <laughs> um, okay, tell you what, why don't both for the for the shopping montage part, why don't both uh. <laughs> Pain and Sleepy uh, give uh, an influence role for the etiquette. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, I'm going to use for edge to <laughs> edge <ready. laughs> um, <laughs> Because 
I still don't have that influence. Yeah. Uh, still, still, um, uh, Bob's taking pity on us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's st oh, still okay. Un Appreciate you, Bob. Or <laughs> <laughs> HD player. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Then I'm just going to. Um, well, you know what, actually, you should roll it just if for no other reason than the, than the glitch, than to, to capture any glitches. Is there a place on the character sheet we modify it to pre-edge? Um, I believe that there's a, on the top bar, you can click the edge oh, yeah. tab. I'm just going to do it that way. <laughs> Yes, there will be clothes of some kind. <laughs> I would hope. <laughs> um. Much better, man. All right. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um all right, and one more one more from uh from Glimmer. It's unlikely she'll glitch, but there's always this chance. Nope. Oh, that was not great. No, it wasn't great, but you got uh but you've got a good you're able to get everybody um get everybody outfitted in something that fits them oh. that is the key to fashion is having tailored clothes versus off the rack clothes yes yep and you've got enough time that you can pull um, pull that together. Everybody's got medium. Um, let's see. I will. I'll hit you with the the cost later on, afterwards. But it's it's well within there because you did get you did get a thousand up front. So, um, yeah, you've got something that that fits now, uh, and that fits the particular style so that uh, Payne can wear his hat still. Um, it's not like it's Denver. It's not like there's a lack of people, of guys wearing hats. Uh, we're going to be in the cast section, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, is there anything else you guys do, you folks do to prep? Sleeping I think you got gel rounds? I, I was going to say, I think I ought to pick up some more gel rounds. So, I would like to buy gel rounds. And Tom, in 6th edition, it's just changes it from from physical to stun. There's not a, any other modifier, right? Right. Yes. All right. Uh, with uh, I have a contact listed as Jimmy the bartender. Yes. Is that someone that I would, someone that I could call for, like, what's the gossip on who's in town? Kind of, like, fancy players that have come in or anything like that? Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, you could, you can just go to it. It's the, it's the, um... Jimmy the bartender is runs the bar that um where there is a where generally um Ace is there either trying to wear a dividend to the table with her uh cyber elbow 
or just passed out drunk on the table. Um, so this is this is a shadow running bar. Uh, okay. So, yeah, you can go in on uh, drink. So you ask him about um, Madame Cassandra's. If he's heard anything about anybody who might have come, who might be coming into town, or uh, because they're all sort of high-profile clientele, um, just a general sense if there's any sort of special event, or if it's just a Tuesday, and what um, you know, anybody that of note that might be coming into town. Hmm. Haven't heard of anything. Um, I mean, I, to be honest with the way with the, with that mess with the Azzies and that mess with the hospital, um, doing that to the Yorks and the Trogs, um, Denver's getting so. Denver's getting so tense. Nobody, nobody's coming in from the outside unless they have to. Mm. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. Some bad press. That'll do it. It. Yeah. It's. It just. I don't know. You can kind of feel it. I mean, I've been. I've been living here for a few years now, and uh, there's a. There's a tension that I haven't felt. I haven't felt for a while now. Um, it's like something is something's something's building up. So uh, no, I just I, I honestly would expect that um, Cassie's place is uh, going to be busier than normal. Um, this type of thing, the the rich and uh, the rich and powerful like to relax and. Uh, She's got a safe place to relax. Um, no hard drugs or BTLs or when Rocky dolls, any of that, any of that nonsense. She's just uh, straightforward uh, Southern hospitality, my, madam. One hell of a dame. All right. Well, I appreciate it, Jimmy. That is some, some very helpful information. And I will uh, pay him. You sure can see. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll uh, pay him uh, 200 new yen for the information. Okay. Um... Um, one thing, Daron, you want to take into account, um, if you're doing a run there, uh, there's a good chance you're going to run in, well, just say that, that, uh, the cast is patrolled, the cast sector is patrolled by, uh, by Lone Star. And the mm. and the commanders are loyal customers. And as loyal customers, they're also good ones in that they will make sure to keep an eye on the place. Uh, and it ain't like uh, you, you'd uh, it ain't like you could swing. Um, And there's a good chance you're going to bump into local government, too, officials. So it's a, it's a place to do a quiet run. If you can. Okay. That's a good tip. Thank you. Hmm. Well, if you hear anything else or think of anything, give me a ring. And uh, we'll catch up later. 
All right, darling. Stay safe. I'll call the others and uh, let them know what uh, what Jimmy and I talked about. Mm. We got to deal with security. We got to deal with people who want to have a good time in this place that may or may not be better healed than we are. Yep. And Lone Star. It goes without saying, but yeah. yeah. So probably everybody has bodyguards, would you think? Yeah. yeah. Sounds like it. Okay. All right. Okay. Is there anything else you guys try to look up contacts you try to talk to? Probably just my arms dealer just to make sure that we have the gel rounds. That's yeah. Fine. That that I can hand wave. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's got he's got plenty of yeah, it's just a matter of come by, stop by, and uh, mm -hmm. I will hook you up. Awesome. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, um, while you're out getting ammo, um, uh, sleepy, I hit you up and I go, you got any, uh, you got any smoke or gas grenades, something to knock out a large group of people? Oh, that, that would be, that'd be handy. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and ask my arm stealer. I don't know where this accent came from, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, go ahead and give me, uh. Let's see his connection. Yeah, go ahead and roll eight dice. Eight. Yep. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> One hit. <laughs> okay. Oh, huh. You want knockout grenades? Let's see yeah. what. Uh, let's see what. Well, <sighs> mm -mm. Yeah, I got, uh, I mean, I got the grenades, yeah, because that's just simple. They just get loaded. Uh, what are you looking to, uh, hey, you... are you thinking of just tossing them or do you need a grenade launcher? Oh, you can just toss them. I mean, are you talking about, you know, Nausea gas or tear gas? Are you talking something like, uh, you know, uh, you know, pepper punch? You know, um, I I guess I I'd, I'd prefer something to knock them out, but uh, nausea gas would work 
All right. Well, let's see what. Uh... Hmm. Well, let's see what we got. Let me see what I got. Hmm. You don't. Sorry, had to look it up and uh, the costs are in a different section. Um, I can, uh, well, I can get you uh, two neuro stuns for since it's a quick thing. 500 new yen. Okay. All right. Now just be careful with these. Don't don't set them off, you know. Don't be rough with them and set them off in your car. You'll crash. Yeah. Um but that <laughs> sounds like a bad idea. Um anything to help us not breathe the sin once we get there. Once we do set them off on purpose. Um, oh, yeah. Gas masks are easy. And he gives you a couple gas masks. Okay. <laughs> Drive and launch grenades. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. Um... Bob is the same kind of murder machine I am. He's just like, the DMSO. Gam uh, gamma scalpel, yeah. 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 <laughs> um Okay. Anything else you guys are prepping for? You were told that this this guy does see um uh, a woman named Mary every time he goes there. Said Mary. Mary, yes. And so he said that he normally gets there at twenty one thirty. Um, that's when his appointment is. Yes, that's when his normal okay. appointment is twenty one thirty. I have a couple of ideas on how we can do this. Um, the first might be if Mary takes a bribe and just doesn't go to work. Um, I, I don't know how much that would cost, but it's, it's something to maybe see if we can get her room uh, or, or something. Um, and my other thought was what kind of grenades did you get? I think you're okay. I, I was muted. <laughs> I, I got Neurostun grenades. Okay. You got uh, Neurostun 8, 9, or 10? Um, 500, it, like 10. That's it, it's 8. 8, okay. Yep. It was a quick, okay. it, it, it was a quick job, and she rolled pretty low. Yeah. No worries. So what exactly does the neurostun grenade do? Knocks people out about 10, and then clears the area in about 10 minutes. Like makes them asleep or are they awake and... No, they sleep. Okay. All right. Um, is there any kind of like visual effect of this? I mean, I guess it won't matter because they're sleeping. 
But, like, could someone outside see that there was a neurosun grenade on, like, the second floor of this establishment? Well, that spreads out and knocks out anybody who's in the immediate area. It's not like targeting one person. Or it, it is colorless and odorless. Okay. Fill up the, the house, or would you need to be, like, on the floor? I, I don't... I don't really do it don't shooty spread, things. It don't so. spread very far. Okay. Well, Sleepy is my expert here. Well, that's true. I'm glad Payne's answering for me, though. <laughs> do you want to knock out the whole building? Because we could, like, just stick something in the air duct and just keep pumping them in there until everybody's knocked out. That's a pretty I big, mean, it's a pretty big building. That might be more grenades than we have. Well, no, it'd be more money. We'd spend more money than we're going to make doing it, but it'd be yeah. funny. We do need to do cost-benefit analysis. Sometimes comedy is worth it. <laughs> You're not wrong about that. <laughs> um. So if this is like a typical old-timey house, then it's probably one of those things with like a big open entry and like big staircase to go up to the second story. You know, what is that old movie like Lost in the Tornado or something? Yeah, that was definitely it. <laughs> that was absolutely the name of that film. Keep going. Yeah. Uh, so if there, so we'd have to get past like that beginning part. And also figure out where Mary's room is. So I mean, it is an old house. We could go through the kitchen. Somebody can go up through a dumb waiter. Yeah, I mean, oh, I like that. Sneaking's good. I need the best at sneaking. I could go in and ask the you know company. But. Well, and the other thing is. You know, if everybody there has bodyguards, then it wouldn't be unusual to have a small group of people in there. That's true. Mm -hmm. and we do dress nice now, thanks to you. Yeah. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to keep you in the 2078 fashion so you don't stick out. You got to be a little bit behind, unless you're in Paris. And then it's a different thing. We'll go one day. It'll be great. I settled on 1878, but that's me. All right, come. All right. That's why I had to dress you. <laughs> so, we want to sneak in the kitchen. Uh, do you want to do a distraction? Do you want to try and uh, to bribe Mary? Or what are you thinking? I don't know if you're going to be easy to bribe Mary if she's getting paid by this rich guy every time he goes over there. Sure. That's, that's regular business versus... Well, today, right? Uh, might be able to find somebody who regularly goes in there to get a grasp on where Mary's room is, or you've already got a ballpark of what the building looks like. I, I guess we wouldn't have to bribe Mary if she was knocked out. I mean, that's true, but I also don't want to take away somebody else's livelihood because, you know, game recognizes game. Yeah. What about, like, service people? You think we could bribe, like, someone who cleans the room? Maybe. I feel like house cleaning is going to end up being there much earlier than they open, though. That's true. So unless we want to spend all day, which we're probably already halfway through the day. That's also true. And we don't have your friend that likes to hide in floorboards, so... Yeah. We don't. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. So in through the kitchen or in through the front door? What do we think? We didn't dress for nobody walking through the kitchen. True. 
We dress for that front door. That is true. Door. That is true. Yep. We walk in the back door dressed like this, we look suspect. We walk through the front door dressed like this, we look fancy. I don't, I don't know. Oh, you know, try to grasp this. It just, it's just some extra buttons. You're fine. Is that what these were? Next week on Fashion with Glimmer. <laughs> <laughs> How to wear draws. How to put how to put your pants on right. Yeah. How My to life. button a button. <laughs> uh okay. So what are you what are you guys thinking? Go in the front door and try and go in the front door early and try and talk to Mary directly or that sounds like the right move. Yeah, these, I'm going to sound real ignorant right now. Uh, these places have, like, menus or, <laughs> like. I refuse to answer that on the grounds <laughs> that it might indicate that I have uh, uh, no, so I don't. <laughs> wow. Now Tom is under the same problem. He's <laughs> like, well, how do I answer this question? Uh, <laughs> Role play. Pretend like you've been somewhere. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, you show up. Um, you would be able, and actually, you know what? I'm gonna hand wave this. You talk to you ask Jimmy this question because you remember he did call her Cassie, um, rather than Cassandra. Um, so, um. To describe Jimmy, the bartender, he is literally the oldest dwarf you've ever seen. Um, it's he's got that look where you know sometimes he look like he looks like he's ninety, which is impossible because dwarves can't be ninety because they just started becoming dwarves in the early twentieth century, and it's only twenty seventy eight or twenty eighty. Um, and then sometimes he looks like he's 60, but regardless, he's the oldest dwarf you've, um, any of you have seen. Um, well, I mean, you, uh, you show up, um, it's kind of like a social club. You go in, you mingle. Um, eventually, and to be honest with you, um, Sometimes guys go in just uh, because uh, the bartender is pretty and they get smiled at and uh, they have a drink and then they, they go back to their home. Um, but uh, yeah, it's essentially a social club. You go there, you, you mingle. Um, the girls are actually, you know, the, the, uh, the workers, it's probably the best way to best phrase for them, um, will make make themselves known. Um, Glimmer, with you, 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 you probably, you'll probably try and get hit on at least once, or there'll be guys trying to feel you out, uh, as to, uh, if you work there or not. Um, but they will, uh, you know, you feel around, if you've got somebody that you specifically want to talk to, you just, uh, ask the bartender or the hostess, you know, if this person is around and then, uh, then from there, it's usually handled fairly. Everything is handled pretty discreetly. Um, if it's the first time you've gone there, yeah, they'll probably be a little bit, it'll probably be a little bit more, um, there'll have to be some plain spoken discussions, uh, which they can get away with because half a Lone Star, half the Lone Star higher ups goes there, so it's never going to be raided. Um, but, uh, and then uh, 
yeah, then it's a matter of uh, the the you'll end up you'll end up uh, going someplace private. I appreciate how Tom's trying to explain Jen how house prostitution <laughs> might work. <laughs> Look here. <laughs> that was completely in the realm of role playing. <laughs> which I was, in I which know, I was, it was just you were so gentle, and I was like, "It's so." <laughs> <laughs> the seventy-year-old dwarf trying to figure out how to describe to one of his, you know. <laughs> so, we, the we, time I embarrassed everybody. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think we got that part figured out. Let's move on now. <laughs> yeah. Let's get to the part where I, where I roll some grenades in there. And maybe yeah. we can, uh, okay. Get somebody to get that. Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna look for Mary and get there before um, our friend Gerald's appointment time. Okay. And my initial plan is to see if we can convince her that instead of me to see how much like see if we can get out the information from her about how much Gerald would be paying her for this, uh, for this meeting and maybe pay for it instead. So she doesn't lose any money and we can be waiting in the room when he gets there. And then surprise stun grenade. You might be able to convince her that, but again, you're, you're talking about today money versus recurring money. Right. But it's just for one appointment. It's mm. just for this guy. Yeah, but if she think, if they think she's in on it. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I mean, I don't know this person at all, and I certainly don't want to put them in no risk because I'm not getting paid to. Um, knowing where the location is, I think that's solid. Because then we know where to ga gas them. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. No, I, did, I didn't think about I don't <clears throat> want anything to come on Miss Mary. She hadn't done nothing. Um, and... Uh, Sleepy got some gas masks, so I add that to your purse, your accessory bag, or whatever you care. Yeah. They do still call them purses, but I appreciate the effort. You never know. No, those things do change sometimes. Like the time that everybody was wearing like leg pouches. I looked down at my leg pouch. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so how much earlier do you get there than her? Than uh, he, than him? A couple hours. Okay. So scope the place. Yeah, so <clears throat> a couple hours so we can scope the place, I guess, so that we know the, where the entrances and exits are. Uh, get an idea where Mary's room is, because I mean, unless, and shadow runs, so things will go sideways, but. Unless they go tremendously sideways, it's roll in the canister, knock everybody in a room out, take them out the nearest exit, yeah. and beat feet. Okay. And, if I, and cool. then we got to lay down some fire on some people non lethal on anybody pursuing us, or any bodyguards. Because I doubt the bodyguards are going in for the meeting. Well, I hope not. <laughs> well, you know, I don't, I'm like a judge. You know. No. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Bob is now Bob's now on the chat encouraging the, the, my typical uh, tactic of kick in door, shoot everyone in room, move to next room. Well, Bob's here for the TPK. The <laughs> yeah, mage is true. True. yeah, yeah, he's 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 here to specifically make sure everybody. Yeah, okay. So you go there. All right. So he normally shows up at twenty one thirty. Um. You uh, you show up at uh, 19, 19.30, so 7.30 in the afternoon, 7.30 at night. All right, um, you guys uh, go in, it's like I was described, a, uh, 
it is a um, social club. Um, everybody give me uh, an influence role. I know you all love doing that. Oh, yeah, it's my favorite thing. Yep. <laughs> Good way to kill edge. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a good, it's a great way to have you know you guys walk in there with zero edge. Yeah. Um, yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and use four edge. Uh, will this count for uh, first impression? Yes, this will be every pretty much everything will be first impression in here because um, <laughs> none of you failed your glitch rolls when you were doing cro uh, none of you glitched when you were doing uh, shopping. Uh, I probably should let it be so that people can see the rolls, and I see the rolls too. Um, wow. Okay. Um. We didn't mess up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys, yeah. You guys go in there. You are. Um. You are, uh, looking like you, you blend in. Now, are you going in? The two of you, Sleepy and Pain, going in as Glimmer's entourage? Or are you just all three going in and separating like you're you're not together? What do y'all think? Because my thought was, yeah, I mean, if you if you look like you've got bodyguards, as good as we look, because you dressed us, um, <laughs> you know, then, uh, then uh, it probably had a little more cred to you. Um, but... That's your call. It's a matching set because we're both dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine if that's what you want to do. I don't if if you want to strike out on your own, that's fine too. But I know that it, um, you're not always comfortable talking. <laughs> I would rather not talk. We got Maybe. coffee though. Yeah, but we can get coffee as bodyguards. We don't right. have to. <laughs> right. No, as bodyguards, you know, we yeah. have to ask permission and everything. Miss Glamour. Yeah. Uh. Um, okay. Ms. Glamour, can we have some coffee? <laughs> What's less threatening if we have coffee? Don't make it weird. <laughs> oh, we'll pass uh. weird. Yeah, yeah. I think that's I think that's pretty much gone. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a little weird, but uh, um, all right. You guys go in. Uh, you're able to to go up to the the area. Um, you uh, the fact that you've got bodyguards, Glimmer. There are a couple people that look at you, but then. Spot the bodyguards and look away. Um, so it it does set you it does set you a little bit apart from others. Um, and let's see. This isn't. This is kind of the. Uh, The rough part, but you're able to get into a uh, get into the bar area and are milling around. What are you? What are you doing? Or how are you? Uh, well, who are you approaching? I guess is the best way to word this. So what I'm thinking is if uh, one of you wants to go to the bartender to try and find out information about Mary, I can distract folks away from the bar so that no one overhears what we're looking for. I ain't real solid about getting information out of people unless, you know, I'm 
ball peen hammer, you know, get them to the kneecaps, that kind of thing. You know, so, um, I mean, can if you want me to. I ain't promising we'll get nothing. Mm-hmm. Sleeping wants coffee. Also, sleepy don't talk. Let's sleep we got to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So we will we'll entourage our way over to the bar. Okay. Get coffee for my dedicated bodyguards. <laughs> then you can do talking. Mm-hmm. I like this. We're getting paid for her to do all the talking. This is good. Yes. I kind of figured you guys had that planted this way. Um, okay. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Well, hello there. What can I get you, ma'am? Uh, I need two coffees for my bodyguards, please. And then I'd like a seltzer water. Oh, okay. So you don't want something stronger? Um, I mean, that's super sweet of you, but I just got in on a flight from Cal Free State, and you know how traveling can be, and I'm trying to make sure I've got this meeting later. We're doing this big financial investment. Turns out there's a lot of buzz around Denver and how things are really about to pop off. And so my company wants to be here when it happens. So I got to be in peak performance for this meeting, which includes a special little trip here. Because I heard this was the best place to go before a big meeting to blow up a little steam, you know? Oh, yes. Every uh, This place, uh, I guarantee, ma'am, when you're, when you, uh, when you leave here, you will be, you will be in the emotional state that you want to be. Some people like some people like things, certain things they want to be things. But we guarantee we've got somebody here uh, that, that you'll have a good time. And when you leave here, you'll be ready for your meeting. And that's what I need to hear. I love it. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, need the uh, couple of uh, coffees for the. Uh, bodyguards and here's your seltzer water man thank you so much so what is your recommendation for some lovely ladies oh all right um hmm go ahead and give me an edge roll just for luck Hmm. Ah, well, let's see. There are a lot. Hmm. Give me one second, ma'am, and let me uh, pop up here and see who is around. Um, available right now. Uh, you said you got you you're you're looking for just a quick visit because you got that meeting, right? Yeah, I've got a meeting in a couple of hours, so nothing too intensive. Okay. Uh, give me uh, one second. Um, uh, well, let's see. There is... Uh, well, Dea is free... Um, she is a, um, lovely young, lovely young, uh, athletic lady. Um, then we've got, um, Elwyn. Oh, Elwyn, she, um, Yeah, I've I've heard her massages just uh, can make can make someone melt. Um, and then, uh, well, in, in Exora, um, well, I'm, I'm I'm gonna have to ask you some direct questions. I hope you don't think I'm being impertinent, ma'am. Um, in Exora is uh. He likes to take control of the situation. 
Um, so that's that's one option. Um, uh, and then there is uh, well, there's Mary. Uh, she is a sweetheart, girls, the girl, girl next door type. Um, and actually, she's open now for a little bit. That's why it kind of fits. She's she's usually pretty full with regulars, but uh, might be able to get her in. Um, there's uh, Nydia, uh, and uh, well, she's a uh, um, well for Denver, she's exotic. I mean. Depends. You from the Cal Free State, she might not be that exotic for you, but uh, for here and uh, ah, Rosalia, she is Rosalia is um, ah, yeah, she she's she's one of the few elves that we have on st on staff and uh. She's just breathtaking. Um, and uh, I think that's, yeah, everyone else is, every, I think everyone else is going to be busy at least uh, past the uh, point. Um, past the, past when you're, past your availability window, I guess. But, I mean, like I said, there's, there, there are other ladies we have that, uh, after your meeting, when you need to unwind, feel free to come back. We're pretty much open all the time. Well, they all sound lovely. I am kind of feeling the vibe of a girl next door. It's not something you really get out in my part of the country, you know? So I would love to have a chat with Mary. You said she's available. Um, hang on one second. Um, we pause here for a moment for Tom to go through and describe somebody that resembles nobody else that anybody knows in REM. Um, so that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't be accused of using uh, <laughs> of that person as a uh, as a template. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> the name of this run is Tom is uncomfortable. <laughs> I actually <Yeah. laughs> at this point I'm just happy I made it through that last section. <laughs> um, okay. Tony um, and I are like looking for real coffee here going on. <laughs> right. <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, you, uh, you see him look around and, uh, he does the, uh, you know, he, it, it looks like he makes eye contact with someone and, uh, he does the, the head tilt. And uh and a uh a young lady comes over. Um brunette, uh blue eyes. Um is yeah, girl next door bits. Uh it's she's not overly shapely. She's slender. She's got, looks fit. Um, she's got a beauty mark um, high on her uh, left cheekbone. Um, and uh, her hair is... Uh, her hair has definitely got a retro uh, look to it. Uh, pretty much last century. Um, retro, retro look to it. Um, um, yeah, it's a, 
that kind of like uh, big hair from a hundred years ago that uh, that girl uh, Kara Crossit um, pioneered. You you remember the name? Um, hey, you're sure you're positive that's that's the name? Um, and uh, just like stuck in a tornado. <laughs> Uh, comes over and, uh, and smiles, uh, Mary, I'd like to, wow, wow, man, my, I never even got your real, I never got your name. Uh, my name is Sarah. Mary, let me introduce you to, uh, Sarah. She's, uh, a nice lady in town and, uh, needs to, uh, relax a little bit before her, uh, her trip. Before her business meeting, uh, your re- your regular Mary. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, uh, thanks, Tom. She says, because um, right now the only thing I've got in my head are female names. Uh, uh, so, um, uh, sir, it's it's nice to meet you, Sarah. Um, what were you uh? I take it you've got a meeting coming up pretty quick? I do. In a few hours, I've got this big financial meeting. And I just flew in from from Calvary and just, you know, a little bit nervous. Got some got some big wigs to impress, you know. You know how that goes. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I do. And flying. It, uh, man, especially, especially some of the restrictions. Um... Uh, did you have to do a corkscrew landing? It was the wildest thing that I have ever seen. I have I've done a lot of travel, but that kind of precaution, like I knew that things were getting a little edgy around here, but I didn't realize it was that serious. And it was it was something else. Um, and you chit chat back and forth a bit. Um, and, uh, it's a thing. Um, and then she starts working her way towards, you know, did you want to, you know, what, what are you looking for? Um, I assume at this point you you try and guide her into the stage of going up and being alone. Okay, um, go ahead and give me a con roll. Well, yeah, actually. First impression or just con? Um, first impression goes, still applies to it. This is the first time you've. less than exciting um hmm. okay um she checks um well okay yeah you, you said you have to leave pretty quick anyways because i've got uh I, I i've got another um i've got a friend coming to see me in a bit, but, uh, and this is, this at this point is probably about, uh, so you got there about 730. Um, at this point, uh, it's probably about quarter, uh, 30, it's probably about quarter after eight, um, when you're heading up. Uh, you're awkward. I'm sitting here trying to. I'm sitting here trying to flirt with another guy's girl. An <laughs> 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 RP. Uh, the uh, the uh, um, and you, yeah, you guys get up. I assume the bodyguards follow and do the uh, stand outside the door. And the moment we're outside the door, like, thank God that's over. 
No. <laughs> Ugh. So anyway, I got this new gun. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, there is actually, um, honestly, across the hall from her room, there's kind of like a little vestibule with a couple chairs in it. Um, so you can, uh, where basically you've got, you know, one is looking down, one of you is looking down one way of the hallway, the other is looking down the other way, and the door is right across from you across the hall from you um so that way you're not standing in the middle of the hall so when she opens the door how big a room are we talking um the room is it's here Okay. Um It's about it's a big bedroom, about 15 by 20. Big enough one grenade. That was all I was really worried about. <laughs> <laughs> I should have just qualified and said, hey, <laughs> hey, Tom, you want to throw one one gas grenade in there and get everybody? And this is really the question I should have asked. Yeah. Yes. yes, one gas grenade will one, one gas grenade will get everybody. Um, like Tom was sitting there trying to go, well, you know, it's a sensible room, so it's, yeah. <laughs> by, you know, yeah. it's very, very spacious. You know, yeah. you could probably put a family of two or three in there if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Tom's my real estate agent in Shadowrun now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had a quick question, Tom. Yep. Um, I have contacts, and they say the modifications are image link and vision enhancement. Mm -hmm. Yes. Does that mean that I could send images of what I'm seeing back to um, Pain and Sleepy? Is that uh, is that what that means? Yep, it is. Yes. Okay. So uh, that's well, what I will be doing: is sending them a visual feed of the room. Um. Okay. So, um, you're not, not now while you're here with, with the, 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 uh, prostate, right? <laughs> is that what, because that was what it sounded like. I was just clarifying. <laughs> My intent was so you could see the layout of the room. Gotcha. Thank you. That's all I'm I'm really not trying to make it weird and I'm just making it weird. So apologies. Um. Okay. Yeah, you can. Yes, you can. You you feed. Yes, you. They can. Uh, they can see the room. Um, so, um, what did? Uh, and she's starting to get a little, a little bit, you know, touchy, easing in, trying to figure out what, uh, what you're interested in. Um, what are we? What are you? What what will help you relax and, and set you up for that meeting? Well, very skillfully, it's going to be a chit chat and Nova Coke. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> Nobody's turning that party down. You're like, oh, yeah, it's, it's pretty much. Yeah. yeah, yeah, um, yeah, no, Nova, uh, she takes her a second. Oh, yeah, no, no, no Nova Coke's fine. That's a, it's a, uh, she puts it, that's a, there's the heavy stuff is, uh, there's, there's a definite, you know, rules against, but, uh, Nova Coke, that's just fun. So, and for for the chat, Nova Coke gives you um, some bonuses to your reaction in charisma and perception. Okay. And when it wears off, 
Your charisma and willpower are both reduced to zero for the equal duration of the effect. Just like real drugs. Just so like I'm, real drugs. So yeah. I'm told. Uh, Allegedly, drugs are bad. Stay in school. <laughs> Stay in school. So the both of you partake? You offer and the both of you partake? Yeah, yeah, and I figured that that'll be enough to kill the time until um, right up to when um, Gerald's supposed to get there. Okay. Um, go ahead. You know what? Go ahead and give me um, the, the, the trick here is going to be keeping her distracted from the time. Mm -hmm. So uh, go ahead. Just give me a con roll to keep her um, distracted. All right. And is Edge recovered between scenes? I feel like I asked you that last time. Uh, no, it's not. It's not recovered between scenes. Okay. Um, the only thing that happens is you're capped off at your stat between scenes. So if, say, gotcha. you gained a bunch, you're still... Uh... Okay. Okay. Let's see... Close tailored pheromones, though. And what does what does Nova Coke add for the charisma? Uh, so Nova Coke is uh, duration is ten minus body hours for a minimum of one hour. Yep. Um, it is a plus one to reaction, plus one to charisma. Plus one to perception and high pain tolerance. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um. You have a little more trouble trying to stretch things out than you planned on. She ends up kind of uh, taking the the situation in a direction you didn't you you don't win the role, so she kind of um, takes it. However, um, are you sending back the image link the entire time? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Just so that they have going on. Yep. Okay. Um, both of you, um, both of the bodyguards, uh, give me a perception roll and, um, and re roll one of your successes. Okay. Hello. Um. Okay. Can you both re-roll one of those? Die? Actually, let just let me do it. I can do it quick. Um. There, I just hit it. Okay. Still, still got one hit and still got a hit. So I'm four. Five. I'm okay. not gonna hit. Yep. <laughs> okay. Now uh, you didn't get a one. That was where I was a little concerned with. Uh, with the, I thought you were okay. Okay. All right. Um. So yeah. Um, you weren't that you weren't that distracted. Um, um a couple guys uh, come down the hallway. Mm, both dressed nicely. Um Look a little bit surprised to see you two sitting there. Um, hmm. 
just do an advanced check. Uh, didn't, normally she doesn't, uh, normally she doesn't stack them up like this. Uh, um, at that moment, um, there is a ping that you hear of a comlink going off, um, glimmer. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. This lasted longer than, I mean, you were having a great time. Um, she goes, but uh, I think we really got to. My friend is showing up and he's a regular. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. Yes. And I've got to go get to my meeting. Uh, this was so great. You've been wonderful. I really appreciate this. I really needed this. Um, Everybody give me. Well, let me put it this way. It is. um. It's only, it's quarter of nine. So it's 45 minutes before what you uh, were told. Um, <clears throat> uh, just so you know. Uh, oh, well, no, that, that, I, it's, you know, hey, feel free to, to, to come back afterwards. This is, this was fun. Absolutely. I'm adding you to, to my my things to do in Denver. She smiles. Um. So as far as these guys that are out here wondering what we're doing, I just give them the, you know, like, I, nothing you said impacts me look, you know, because he was like, yeah. giving me data about this this uh, this worker in here. And I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. I, you're not asking yeah. me to leave, so yeah, no, he's he's just he's just uh well it looks like he, he did pull out his com link and looks like he sent a message. Um and then yeah, you guys are just waiting out there. Um Glimmer, what are you doing? Um, so I'm going to like stand and slowly gather my things. Um, and I guess open the, open the door and um, like a Southern goodbye. Mm -hmm. Where you, like you open the door to leave and then you just like, oh, thanks again. And yeah. just kind of trying to, to to draw it out just a little bit longer um to see if um Gerald starts heading in the direction um I get the the high sign from my bodyguards yep. do does anybody have security procedures knowledge skill nope nope okay okay um, both you give me uh, both the bodyguards give me an intu intuition minus one roll on roll unskilled. Okay. Um, it's <laughs> boy, Glimmer can talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you get the the way the guy's starting to fidget a little bit. Um, he's not gonna send his boss up here until you guys are gone. Um, that's that's the the gist of what you've uh. 
what you figured out, what you're figuring. Cross my ankles and lean back like I don't expect to be going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> So I will look around and see that the other bodyguards are there and that um, Gerald isn't coming up and um, we'll start to go towards the exit or towards a different exit. Okay. It looks like it's just the one staircase. Is that right? Yep. Yes. Okay. Oof. Okay. Um, yep. As you guys are rolling on impatient. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, okay, so as you guys are coming up, or as you guys start to, to do this, uh, you do see him start to uh, come down the hall uh, towards you. And uh, he's got another bodyguard with him. Sarah, did you have a jacket? Uh, I will immediately like make make the noise of like, oh no, I have forgotten this, and um, run back towards the uh, uh, towards the the door uh, where Mary is, and say, did I leave a jacket in here? Um, um, and she's looking down. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm. No, I'm sure. Sure you didn't. Uh, no, uh, I'm sure you didn't. Uh, but, uh. Okay, if you, if you find it, let me know. I probably just left it in the car. I'm such a ditz. Okay. Um, go ahead and give me, um. A con roll. Okay. Um, she leads in to give you a goodbye kiss as you're walking out into the hallway. Do you return it, or do you just make it quick and then leave, and then start sure. walking? Sure, I'll, re I'll return it. We gotta okay. make this look good. Okay. Um. All right. Um. Both of you, um, uh, go ahead and give me bodyguards. Give me a perception roll. As basically, Gerald is just about uh, to the point with you. Okay. Uh, Sleepy, go ahead and reroll your highest. <laughs> I'm not going to. It, it, it won't matter even if you fail. Okay. Uh, you, still you, you still retain your one hit. Okay. Um. Okay, so, um, pain. He is, uh, the bodyguard that got there at first is drawing his gun. Anybody he's particularly drawn on? Uh, just... yeah, actually. Um, the his boss. He's drawing it on his boss. He's drawing on his boss. Yes. Um, well, I think it's time for initiative. Huh? <laughs> I, I I think that's a I think that's an appropriate. Uh, I think that's a good statement. Yes. 
Because he might be quick, but let's see how quick. Yep. Um. Let's see. And hang on, I got to put the. Oh, okay, they're showing up. All right, good. Jeez. <laughs> the Mia. Was that G's on my 29? Yes. That yep, that was it. <laughs> You know, Tom, you gave me this character. I didn't write this one up. <laughs> I did give you that. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's right. I looked at him and I went, huh, this is exactly the way I'd have built this character. <laughs> um, okay. Um, all right. So you... Uh, all right. He's uh he's drawn a name in it and drawn a name in it as boss. Uh what are you doing? Well, uh he has drawn a name in his boss and I look I see an opportunity here. Uh so um I'm loaded for uh non lethal, so I draw on the guy drawing on his boss and I'm like Mister, your bodyguard's crawfishing on you and I just blast away on the guy. Okay. With a pair, pair of gel rounds. All right. Um that's the first shot. That's the second one. <laughs> um you know, couldn't have done that any nicer if I tried. Look at that. <laughs> okay, give me two seconds here. Pan. Come on, where is that? I think so. I think that was a, a hand wavy thing right. that we've got a connection. I mean, otherwise, I'm just sending images to nobody. All right. I'm going to go uh, sleep and get ready to drop that grenade. <laughs> Glimmer. As soon as I drop this guy, we're going to get the, we're going to get him, get him out of here for his own safety. Uh, let's see. Oh, crap. And I need you to, to uh, I don't know what your kids say these days, bullshit him our way out of this thing. So I'm sure it's got something to do with chips or something. <laughs> okay. Um, So, what the heck is that? Really? Couple. Th That's what my problem was. Wrong spot. Okay. All right. So he is. He actually tells and dives. And he gets. Come on. Hmm.
Mm. He dodges the first one. All right. You get three net on the next one. All right. So. It's seven stun. Yep. Seven stun? Okay. It's net hits plus the damage, right? Yep, yes. So, okay, all right. I just want to make sure. Yep. So, body for him. Ouch. Okay. All right. But he is next. He's not shooting you. Oh, sorry. He's shooting his yeah. boss. Oh, he's shooting his boss. Yikes. Okay. Yep. That is a dedicated <laughs> professional. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I'd have done the same thing. <laughs> yep. Um, And the other guard also shoots his boss. Um, and that's enough. Um, oh, well, actually, I gotta make it, I gotta roll body twice, so. Okay, that's enough still. Um, yeah, this guy's dead. Mm. Um, and at this point, Mary screams. Um, And uh, Sleepy and Glimmer, next round. Okay, so um, what is Pain? What are you doing next round? Uh, yeah. Um, I ain't getting paid to drop these two guys, but I guess I'm going to have to because they're going to probably shoot, start shooting me next. So my plan is to shoot these two guys who just... Okay. I mean, they just whacked their boss. That's pretty weird. Okay. If we don't have been in that easy, we should have just paid them to kidnap him for it. Right. <laughs> Glimmer, for the sake of all the Lone Star down there, I hope you were still recording. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So go ahead and roll your uh, roll your shot. Oh, mine. Okay. Yep. 
Yeah, because Gl- Glimmer Glimmer didn't roll high enough. She wouldn't didn't realize what was going on until. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so uh, yeah, uh, um, I've got both both weapons out. So firing twice, same target I had before on with the first shot. Jeez. Yeah, he's out of edge now, so he can't quite. What was that little dance for? Was that the because he was out of edge? The Eason's yeah. murdering mm-hmm. somebody dance. Yeah, well, he still soaked it. So. <laughs> first, first one. Uh, first one is miss. Uh, second one, you got three net. So nine. Nine. Okay. Let's see. Sorry, that's a lie. I'm sorry, you said three. Uh, so, so uh, seven. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Bad day. Yep, he goes down. All right. Um. Okay, then the other one. Mm. Um, Glimmer, you get to roll defense. Right? Uh, Only because you're right next to Mary and this guy, the other guard is shooting at Mary with burst fire. I'm built for pretty, not combat. Hmm. Okay. So you take right now you've got six. You're taking um, seven damage. Seven physical. Seven physical? Seven physical. And uh And Mary's a mess. Like, shot out from your arms. So you're okay. covered with her. Uh, and just as a reminder, she and I both have, uh, because of the Nova Coke, that we've got the um, low pain tolerance. Yep. All right, I'm sorry, not low pain tolerance. Um, the other thing. Plus one reaction. Yeah, the plus one's reaction, but also um, the uh, high pain tolerance. Yep. Which means one less on the um, on the damage track for penalties. Okay. Still think she took enough. Oh, okay. No, she's not completely dead yet. Real close. Um, okay. Uh, sleepier glimmer. Who has more edge? I have six. I also have six, but sleepy can go first. Okay. Okay. Um. There is one guy who's still up, and he's the one that shot at glimmer. Or glimmer and Mary, because they were... Very close to each other. Yep. Um, I think I'm still going to shoot him. <laughs> so okay, burn him down. Oh, right. That is yeah. not a that is not a big surprise. Yeah. So from nowhere, 
Sleepy pulls out the panther. I <laughs> 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 just had it in his pocket right here. Yeah, just hiding all the time. Yeah. Glim, yeah. Glimmer, Glimmer hit it for you in her evening, in, in, under her evening, slinky evening gown. Yes. Uh. Just super easy to to grab. And I need to roll an extra. It's a very chic accessory, the assault cannon. Yeah. Yes. yes. Goes with everything. It does. Uh, no. There we go. So four hits. Okay. You, right now, you are doing base damage. Can I have you go ahead and re-roll two of those? Sure. Cool. Okay. Uh, now you're doing base damage plus two. So seven stun still. Seven stun? Okay. I was ready for gel. Ow, man. You gotta love to see it when they roll zero on the slip. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, Glimmer, what are you doing? So, I am... <clears throat> Uh, how bad off does does Mary look? Um, like critical. Okay. So I am going to uh, set her, like, get her to a chair or or to the bed or something where she's you know um, laying down, and because I am not strong enough to carry anybody, and um. Then I will give uh, some sort of blood curdling scream. Okay. While I am searching through Gerald's pockets for some sort of cum link or something like that. Um. All right. You'll be able to get. You'll be able to get her late to lay her down in in the combat. Um. In the combat turn, um, the guy is still up. So you guys are still in initiative order. Oh, all right. I misunderstood. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah and yeah, a... I'll get her back into her room and okay. and use my big girl lungs to give the biggest scream I can. Big girl lungs. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You do. <laughs> you uh. You manage to uh. You manage to do that. Um. Let's see. Okay. Um, would I be able to give her a stim patch, or is that too many actions? Too many actions. Okay. Really, just laying her down is probably it. Hey, go ahead and give me a um. A defense roll. Because you are being shot by. Let's see. I'm sorry, who's making a defense roll? Me? Uh, I need one from Payne. Gotcha. Um, Okay, that didn't hit on the tracker, but that's high enough. Okay. I want to make sure. Um, all right. And this guy. You swear you hear a freeze, Lone Star. 
You're not sure if you heard it before or after they shot. But he did yell freeze. All right. Uh, you shot, you shot at me? Yes, from behind. Okay, what are you doing? What is Payne doing next turn? This beginning of the next round. Man, I just don't want to get in a shootout with a star. I um <clears throat> uh, he identified himself. He's the one behind me. Is the other security guard down yet? No. He's close. He de Sleepy definitely rocked him. Okay. I turn around and put my hands up. Okay. Um... Sleepy, what are you doing? I'll do the same thing. Um, okay. Uh, the security, the, the, uh, the other security guard, mm. um, does, uh, he doesn't put his gun down and the cop drops him. I go, that fella just killed his own boss right here in the middle of the... Shut up! Drop your... You put your... You drop your weapon. Oh, okay. yeah. Drop, yep. Yeah. Drop your weapons. Did not want to have to do this in my freaking underwear. I don't want you to have to do anything in fucking underwear. The point is, this old boy just capped his boss in front of everybody. Not the what? Not what I saw. Uh, I'm gonna come out of Mary's room and make it a point to like hold up my hands that are clearly covered in her blood, and and say, "Please, you've got to help." He shot Mary. She needs a doctor. Medics are on their way. All three of you, down on your knees, hands on your head. Okay. Um. The fast Tom, forward. What it, Tom, what does it take to get get or to pop that sleepy time grenade? For <laughs> <laughs> um. Gosh. Um, honestly, you can do it. You can do it, uh, mentally. You can do it through your, you can do it through your comm link. I'll let everybody know I'm about to pop that grenade, put your gas mask on. I mean, you still, you, you still have the, uh, okay. Yeah. You still, geez. <laughs> you still have. You still have the pan going, and you can send text messages um, with just a thought. So you pretty much tell everybody the mask. Uh, Hold your breath. Hold oh. your breath. Then put on your gas mask because I'm gonna pop this this thing. Yep. Okay. You pop it. Um. Yes. <laughs> I thought I had you. I <laughs> I thought I had you guys. I honestly thought I had uh... <laughs> Oh I, I thought we were had. Yeah. <laughs> what is so that is what does that NL uh eight do? Uh NS eight do uh for dice? Or you just want to roll it? Uh the the stuff. It's a um Yeah, it's a you guys got it's the powers nine of it. Um, let's see. Let's see what the Okay. So
All right, so you have, at this point, you've got no... You've got no resistance except for the fact that you all know it's happening. So you're going to hold your breath. Uh, it's still probably going to hit you because it's a... Because uh, it's also contact-based. Um, but, okay... Um, go ahead and everybody give me a body plus willpower roll. Well, we ain't in our underwear. He is. So. That, <laughs> yeah, I'm honestly, I'm giving him, um, I think I'm just giving him, he's just, he just gets willpower. It's body plus willpower. Yeah. It's for you guys. It's body plus willpower. Cause you're, you're sitting there, you're holding your breath. Oh, sorry, I did that wrong. It's still only saying... No, just... Okay. Oh. One too many oh, right. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I didn't... Whatever, I didn't you click have, outside the box. You have to click outside yeah. the box while oh. it's clicked inside the box if it gets opinions. Okay. Uh, I failed at doing math, so that's actually five hits. So. Okay, you got five hits? Okay. Uh, five, five, and three. Okay. Be cop gets zero. Yay! <laughs> Yay, underwear! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, okay. So, he gets zero. So, yeah, he... He literally just crumples. <laughs> um... Okay, so Glimmer, you take nine minus nine minus three. You take six stun, and you're dazed. Um, you two take four stun. And I'll give you that you're not dazed. And because you, you know, the second he's, the second he gets woozy, I imagine you just fuck, you just grab Glimmer and run. I don't think we got any need to grab anybody else. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, You guys do get out of there. It is, um, well, the whole place starts emptying. Um, and go ahead and give me one last influence roll. Uh, from me? Uh, from all, all three of you. Got a one. It's about as good as I get. Are you ready for this? Because I'm not ready for this. Oh, hey! Look okay. Look at you. Okay. Wait, why did that actually roll both, though? I don't know. Okay. There you go. Yeah, you got it. Um... That does not look like it took into account my wound penalties. Um, five plus twelve. I thought, yeah, I thought you normally were thirteen. Yeah, you're right. It should have taken a little bit more. But at the 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 last few dice you had, there are, none of them were success. None of them were failures. So, or none of them were successes. So it it evens out. Okay. Um. Okay, yeah. Uh, Days just means that uh, your initiative is lower, but everybody else has passed out, and you can't gain or spend edge. Um, so, no, you guys are able to 
uh, get out of there. Um, and, um, does somebody have, well, what, you, you, you head out, um, what, what do you do right afterwards? I look over to you, uh, at the Glimmer and go, do you want to go back to the Johnson? I mean, we got to call him and tell him that the guy is dead. Yeah. They want. Looked like a setup. Lone Star definitely was in on it. Um, yeah, you call him. We'll go back to the safe house. Okay. You guys are gonna hit. You guys are gonna hit a safe house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. You uh. When you try to call the number, it comes back as a non-functioning number. Mm. Um, and um, you get into the safe house and you start watching the right stuff. And you guys are all over as um, as wanted criminals. Uh, which is a perfect spot to end <laughs> end tonight's. Uh, <laughs> well, let's be outlaws then. Yep. Yeah, that's the uh, other yep. part. Yeah, you're you're yeah, yes. Really. You're, at at this point, you're definitely officially outlaws. Your faces are everywhere. Um, and what happens? What happens next is what we will cover the next time we, uh, the four of us, uh, get together. Uh, for another part of False Flag. Yay. That was super fun, Tom. That was great, Anna. <laughs> yeah. Tiny's going to be happy that he missed this. <laughs> yep. I. It's... Uh... <laughs> oh, <stop. laughs> Yeah, actually, shoot, I'm going to have to uh, say something. Tiny's going to yeah. come rescue us then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so... Uh, this is the last stream of 2021 uh, for Rem. Uh, unless somebody does something really ad hoc New Year's Eve, but I know it won't be me. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, hope everybody has a safe New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Um, Same day. And uh, thank you guys for playing. It was a lot of oh, fun. For I always have a great time with y'all. Good. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, we will, uh, I think what the next, uh, the next stream is actually going to be Paranormal Albany next Monday. Uh, and at which point we start, then after that, it'll be uh, Tuesday. On Tuesday, we'll have sh uh, Shadowrun Chicago, um, in which Jen's character, Gertrude, tries to keep uh, the team from shooting each other. Um, Team Mom with juice boxes is very important. Yes. yes, especially when someone starts hoarding the juice boxes. That's when things really get serious. But uh, but dub dubs, dub dubs. You end on twenty. I end on twenty two. So it's twenty twenty two. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. And then after that, on Thursday nights, we're back to, uh, believe the normal, um, storm, storm Lord's wrath. Uh, we will be doing the rest of Shadowrun Denver. We'll work out, uh, the times and eventually we'll end up, uh, doing it regular on Saturday nights. Uh, well, if nobody has anything else they want to uh, do, thank everybody for watching. Uh, and uh and thank you Derica. Uh <laughs> And uh, uh we'll see you all in the new year. Good night. Happy New Year. Thank you. Thanks.